or acrylic one to give it its full name, is an incredibly versatile, two-part, water-based acrylic resin. It can be used from anything from small craft projects and castings, through to large art installations, right up to architectural works and building facades. It's got a 20 to 25 minute working time and you can be demolding parts in around about an hour. Here at Neo's Materials, we've created the starter kit, which contains everything that you can see in front of me. So you've got the base material. This is a two to one mix ratio, so two parts of the powder to one part of the liquid. Similar to plaster, you're gonna mix it uh, using a drill uh, with a mixing paddle on it in a bucket. We'd say to add the liquid first, slowly add the powder so that you're not creating uh, lumps as you go along. Keep mixing with that drill as you add the powder. Um, for your castings, the base material will be a milky white color, but you can add all kinds of things into this. So there's a range of pigments for you to put some color into your castings. You can add in powders such as metal powders and various other fillers so that you can get the effect of your final product that you want to achieve. Um, in the kit as well, you get triaxial fiber. The fiber matting can be used to reinforce the A1 in a very similar way to traditional fiberglass. This allows you to create hollow parts, uh, very thin and strong, and you can also use it to create a support shell for your silicon molds. We provide a fixotropic agent. So this thickens up the base material, allowing you to use it for brush on applications, such as with the fiber, uh, and allows you to create much thicker buildups than would be possible um, with purely the base material, which is quite thin. As well as all this, you get some sundries. So you get a couple of mixing cups, you get a couple of mixing sticks, two pairs of, of gloves, and a laminating brush as well. As a material, the A1 is incredibly strong. Uh, there's a range of sealers available as well in matte, satin and gloss. So if you're doing things for outdoor applications, you can seal your final casting uh, or path off against rainwater and use them outside. Uh, there's also additives so that you can use this material for rotational casting and even spray the material as well. Uh, there are also additives to speed up or slow down the cure time, depending on what you're using it for. On a per kilo basis, acrylic one is a much lower cost than a lot of traditional casting resins, allowing you to create really high quality parts, but on a much lower budget. We think this is a really great product and we love to see what projects you use it for and what you can come up with.